Hello, I'm John with Roadkill Incorporated, and today I want to give an overview of the uh, logic boards for the A1181 MacBook. Um, again, the, the uh, A1181 is this machine here, comes in white and black. It's actually discontinued now, but it's the most common MacBook out there. It's not the unibody machine, not the one with the round, rounded edges and one-piece enclosure. It's this one. Uh, this one commonly has chips along the edges and the front. Um, by the way, if, if you have one like that, you can take it in and Apple will most likely replace the top case. Um, but anyway, there's a lot of confusion about logic boards for these machines, so I just wanted to try and uh, clarify a little bit about that. Uh, Apple really does not do much to to help um, with their terminology. There are a lot of vague terms such as, you know, Santa Rosa, mid-2008, uh, you know, stuff like that, which really doesn't help. It doesn't really tell you what model board you have, you know, what the connectors are, that sort of thing. So I just wanted to try and see if I can put something together that makes a little more sense. Um, Anyway, I have these set up. As you can see, I've got two MacBooks set up. That is because there are two distinct form factors uh, with the A1181, uh, two distinct lower casings, uh, heat sinks, etc. Um, and I have these aligned. All these boards here go with this one, and these boards here go with that one. These are the 2279A model, and then there are two different models that fit into this board the 1889A and the 2213A. So anyway, what are the differences? I'll take the top case off here. Um, this model, and again, I don't know exactly what to call it, but this model that takes these two model boards has a solid space under the fan, uh, no holes, and the um, screw locations are in one place, which requires this heat sink which has a curved uh, sort of copper piece. And on this um, form factor, you have holes. So 2279As always take this lower casing that has holes under the fan, and that requires this heat sink, which has its own distinct screw locations. And sort of, I call this the straight heat sink. I don't know what it's officially called, but I call it the straight heat sink as opposed to the curved heat sink. Um, so anyway, the 2279A boards have to go in this uh, lower casing with the holes. They cannot go in this casing. And these, bo these boards, the 1889A and the 2213A, cannot go in here because the screw locations of the heat sink are in distinct places. Um, so anyway, that's kind of the basics of the form, the two different form factors. Um, now I guess I'll go into just the specifics of the boards. Uh, there are a lot of different model boards, as you can see laid out here. Um, actually, I should say different speed boards with different processors because there are really only three models. Like I said, there's the 1889A, the 2213A, and the 2279A. 2279A goes with the holes. These two guys go with the plain um, plain solid under the fan. That's how you tell the difference in the lower casing. Um, the number, the um, model number of the boards is always under the right slot. You can see there 820-1889A. So that's where you find the model number of the board. Uh, one thing um, that you need to know about these boards is three wall versus four wall. What that means is if you look at the heat sink connectors, these two guys, this is a four wall board. Basically means that the uh, port is fully enclosed. It has four walls, so to speak, around the connector. Um, as opposed to three wall, you can see this is a three wall board. It has three walls. The top is open. So that's the distinction between three wall and four wall. Um, it gets tricky because, for example, you have a 2 gigahertz 1889A four wall, and then right here you have a 2 gigahertz 1889A three wall. So even if you have the correct model board, you may have 
uh, connectors which are not suitable for the, uh, the heat sink and fan that you have. So it's the two most important things to keep a track of uh, when replacing a board, like I said, are the model number of the board that determines the form factor and the lower casing and the heat sink and then also the heat sink connectors. Are they three wall or are they four wall? Um, also, there, there is the inverter connector, this guy here. Um, in 1889As and 2213As, it is always four wall. You can see it there. Um, and the heat sink, I'm sorry, the inverter, that is what the, uh, the four wall inverter plug looks like. On the uh, 2279As, the inverter is three wall. It's always three wall. And this guy, it's got a little piece of foam on it, but you can see what that looks like. Uh, similarly, the sound connectors on this board are four wall. You can see they're four wall there. And then on these guys, they are three wall. So these are all the differences between the two different form factors. Um, another difference, uh, this one is always Core 2 Duo. All these boards are Core 2 Duo, whereas this one is Core 2 Duo. There are some that are Core 2 Duo, and then there are some that are Core Duo. So this form factor can take either, depending on the processor that's on the board, and this one is only Core 2 Duo. Um, a lot of people think that the distinction between these two guys is simply Core Duo versus Core 2 Duo, but that is not the case um, because this one can take either, just depending on what processor happens to be on the board. What processor ha that happens to be on the board is kind of inconsequential when it relates to a lot of this. It, like I said, it's more about the model number of the board and the connectors. So anyway, um, time's running out. I'll just give an overview of the boards that are available. Um, this is the 1.83 gigahertz 1889A uh, T2400. That's the model number of the processor. Kind of inconsequential. Doesn't really matter what the model number is, but uh, I have them labeled there. So this is 1.83 gigahertz with four wall connectors. Here's 1.83 gigahertz with three wall connectors. Here's 2.0 gigahertz with four wall connectors. T2500. Uh, 2 gigahertz with three wall connectors again. Why do I have that listed twice? Oh, four wall and then three wall. Uh, 2 gigahertz, three wall, but core 2 duo, 1889A. Then we have 2.16 gigahertz core 2 duo, three wall, uh, T7400 processor. Um, then we move on to the 2213A line. Um, we ha the, the difference with these, another difference I haven't talked about is uh, Energy Star versus non-Energy Star. Energy Star battery connectors have a gap in the pins. You can see the gap there in the pins. Uh, Non-Energy Star does not. So that's another difference between, um, I wouldn't say between the two form factors because some uh, some of these for this form factor are Energy Star and some are not. Um, this one is always Energy Star. So anyway, we have the 2213A, 2 gigahertz Core 2 Duo, 3 wall, 7200, and then 2.16 gigahertz, 3 wall, Core 2 Duo, 7400. Over here, we've got the four boards that fit into this machine. Um, we have the 2 gigahertz 2279A Core 2 Duo T8300. These are all three wall. Here we have the 2.16 gigahertz version, 2.2, and then 2.4, the most powerful version of the board um, with a T8300. So anyway, uh, this has been just an overview. I hope this helps clarify a little bit. Uh, I want to mention too, um, there may be other boards out there. I think there is a higher end version of the A1181 that I don't have. Um, there may be other speeds that I don't have represented. This is just kind of what I've come across. But uh, anyway, I hope that gives you a good overview and thanks for watching.